Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me on the first project after Spring Watch. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? I love Spring Watch. I loved reading all of your comments. I loved very much seeing all of the creations. People had shared so many variations of things that I'd made. And so it was lovely to see that I'd inspired you, particularly the Twist and Close projects. So many of you have made them. I do have a cat on my lap at the moment. She's a bit noisy. I've got little Oliver off sick today. Um, so we might hear the sound of racing cars. He's watching Turbo next store um, but with spring watch as you know there was a, an amazing giveaway all of the details will be that on my blog on Wednesday that's uh, two days from now we're on Monday today so on Wednesday head over to my blog and you will see all of the winners there so this is today's project and it is our amazing mini egg carton and it's a full-size egg carton and in that it will hold full-size eggs I don't have eggs in mine I have got little mini birthday treats. I have got an EOS balm, love these. A little Yankee candle, this is a brand new fragrance called Cherry Blossom, this is their new spring flavour, flavour, fragrance. And I have got three tea bags in here, English tea shop. And I thought that was a nice cute little gift for somebody on a birthday. And the cat, oh she's just dug her claws in me, she's going to appear on the desk. Now, I have spritzed this box and I had been a little bit wary about doing it until I saw one of the girls in my team do this and that's Sally Stampers. She's Sally, St Sally Stampers on YouTube. Go and check out her stuff. And she spritzed hers and I thought, actually I've got a little bit more confidence in doing this now. So I have got my spritzer here. These come as two of a pack and I have got some rubbing alcohol here. Now, this is only 70%. It doesn't dry as fast as if you had had 98%. I think it's 98%, but that was all that Amazon had for me. And I have got a mint macaron re here because my EOS balm is this colour. So what you do, and you will use a whole thing of this to spritz one of those. And I was really surprised until I saw Sally do it. Um, get your rubbing alcohol, go a tissue as well. And you just pour it into your reinker and that's almost full so that's going up to there so it's almost full so that's my rubbing alcohol maybe best put the lid back on that it's not as pungent as 98 percent i do know that and i would put in half a dozen drops of this oh that was seven I'm going to put, I'm going to put 10 in there. Really fennel. I can't, I can't move her because I've got this in my hand and I need to get the lid on before. I'm, are you helping? Yes, you are, aren't you? Let's just remove the cat. She's a little bit unnerved because there's a small boy in the house. Give it a good shake. That looks quite dark, but it actually won't be as dark as that. Clear lots of space because you spray this blooming stuff goes everywhere. Um, and I'm quite a distance away, so I'm that kind of distance away from it. I'm getting a bit closer actually to get the colour. Oh, smells now. And I'm just lightly spritzing. There is a little bit going on my hands. You can see I'm already halfway through it. It is really surprising how much you do use. Just keep turning it around. Um, fortunately, the rubbing alcohol is inexpensive. I got mine off Amazon. Um, I know that this is something that's relatively easily accessible in, I think you call them drugstores overseas. Um, perhaps you can get it in boots in the UK. I don't know. Um, there we go, the whole lot gone. Might get another tiny little bit out of that. There we go. So, yeah, I'm going to put that off to one side. Look at my grid paper. Actually, I haven't gone across... Oh, I've got a little bit down, down the side of my desk, but not very much. So let's get rid of two sheets of that. I know when Sally did hers, it was all round everywhere. <laughs> she did a pink and blue one. So because it's not the 98%, it's going to take a little bit longer to dry. I would recommend not bending this part too much because I did that on this one and it's cracked slightly. So while that's off drying, I'm going to do my little bit of stamping and my little bit of punching because I just thought this was really pretty. Now I have got designer series paper 
here we go <clears throat> cut to size now the one for the inside which the one for the outside is seven by seven centimeters or uh, two and three quarter inches by two and three quarters the one on the inside is that little bit bigger so seven and a half by seven and a half centimeters or full three inches um, so I've got those ready cut to size this is the succulent paper really pretty matched my EOS bar love it perfect anyway whoops scrap of paper here I've got my stamp set oh it's hidden over here it's because I, I just went like that and everything has moved out of the way oh so succulent because you know I like to put things together happy birthday to a very special person love it and I've just realized as I'm moving stuff um as I said little Oliver's off off school sick today but he made me something the other week in um after school club and I promised I would share it with you I've lost my oh there it is I had a block ready I promised I'd share it. So before I stamp that, I want to share this with you. How cute is that? It's a, it's a, two hearts stuck together with a little pocket inside. And inside it says, to mum love Oliver. How cute is that? If I could recreate this, if we have big enough dies, I would. I just think that's gorgeous. Anyway, I forgot I was meant to share that with you. Uh, tip top toe pink. And... My decorative label punch and it fits best if you go towards the bottom and it also means that you can put those lovely gorgeous flowers all around it move those off a little bit more tip top tote this is the cardstock and punch it three times you do get three flowers per punch out and normally I put them on one at a time but I'm actually going to stack these so a big a small and a medium end of your bone folder no that's not a bone folder at all is it? it's paper piercer into the middle to make them a bit 3d and keep doing all of them I think this is the one I use for picking up sequins because it's got a little tiny dab of glue on the end. I made my own picker-upper thingy. So I stuck Tombow on the end of it so when I'm manhandling sequins. Right, mini glue dots. Got to get them out. Right, so all you do is you stack a layer and I find if you pick up a mini glue dot, put it on the back of your flower, you can manoeuvre it any way you fancy so you can make sure it's nicely offset. And that's a really pretty flower, isn't it? <gasps> Love it. It looks very different when it's all stacked up like that. Super sweet. And I've got the silver metallic shapes. And I'm going to go for a small one in the middle of e all of them. These are domed. These don't have facets like on usual rhinestones. Um, they're domed and the image I don't really know how to describe it but the because it's it's they're domed like that they're very smooth that's the only word I can think to describe it right let's see if this is dry this is pretty dry not completely um so let's take the bigger piece and some liquid glue here we go I did learn from my um, experience with the first one that the liquid glue is better because it kind of absorbs into the egg box itself and then it'll stay stuck down better there we go and then inside this one I've got my EOS balm um, I've just thrown a tea bag on the floor Yankee Candle went for a pale one because I don't actually have one that colour be gentle it won't go all the way down to the bottom but it will go in far enough the tea bag I've just lobbed on the floor only got two of these left <gasps> so it's a green one peppermint tea and I don't know what that one is calming blend see so still not completely dry over 
pop that on there. Yeah, it's still a little bit damp. I would leave it to dry longer than I have. And then this is the smaller one to go on the top. That's so pretty, isn't it? I'm just going to hold that down while I do everything now one-handed. And dimensionals. On there. I want this to not curl up. Down at the bottom. Oh, I can't do this one-handed now. I've got my silver metallic thread. And I find if I wrap it round all four fingers that are slightly splayed open, I don't know, I've no idea how many times, lots of times, until you get as much as you think you want. Throw it on the floor. <laughs> there we go, so I've got a loop now. Please stay stuck down. Tiny little bit of fuse in the top corner. And you bend it, you stick it onto there. Whoopsie, grab this bit and tw as you twist it down, you can get this figure of eight bit, which is really pretty, although mine has gone over in the wrong bit. So you just stick it all down. Don't worry about it, it's gonna look a bit messy, but that's fine, I'm gonna cover it in a minute. Blue dots onto the back of your flowers and just manipulate everything, all those, that nest of metallic thread into place. One there, one there. And one down at the bottom. And that is really sweet. And I had been very unsure if I was going to use these egg cartons. I bought them. I wasn't sure that I was going to use them, but actually I'm really happy with them. I really like it. And this, this lovely mint macaron, I don't know how well you're seeing it on camera. It's a bit of a funny day today. There's sun, sun trying to come out. Um, but this is the sweet sugar plum. And this is mint macaron. Really sweet. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon.